What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the MG Cup Series here on NBCSN. We are at Watkins Glen. We're fresh off the... Oh, I forgot how they line up half and half. That's pretty cool. We're fresh off the Brickyard 400 and uh, looking to hop into some road course action here for the second road course race of the sea or excuse me third road course race of the season no four it's portland anyway more right hand turns it should be the last road course of the season as well so this will be interesting to watch but um yeah here from watkins Glen, full field 43 cars lined up here and here we go um the five of Kyle Bush on the pole here. We're gonna fast forward through this pace lap and just go ahead and get to the race. So uh, yeah, here we go. Pace car now off of turn 10, making that hard right hand turn on the pit road. And we're about to see the green flag here from Watkins Glen International. Heading into turn one, green flag is in the air. We are racing as we head into turn one for the first time. Hard braking, 90 degrees, right hander here. That is her first turn. And look at this contact already being made. Jeff Gordon got bumped from behind there. Almost got sent into the middle of a three wide situation. Speaking of three wide, further back, we got a car wrecking. It's the 75 of David Starr into the wall, into the guardrail, I should say. Caution is out. Lots of debris there. And they're three wide through the S's. Meanwhile, back up front, racing back around. Kyle Busch, still your leader. Here comes Tony Stewart to the second place spot. He gets by Carl Edwards. He's in the grass making that pass work. Lots of cars heading through the grass, exiting the bus stop. Now through the carousel. Here comes Kyle Busch. Still with a heavily, or excuse me, a hefty lead here over Tony Stewart. Coming through the last couple of corners here. Here comes Stewart into the breaking zone. He's trying to catch that five. I don't think he's going to get there, but that 20 car is fast. And now through the final corner. Man, oh man, what a crazy start to this race already. Kyle Busch comes out of the final corner. A nice little flyby for the uh, field there. And yellow flag in the air. Kyle Busch wins the race to the caution flag. Derek, uh, not Derek, but David Starr in the back. Let's see what happened to him here. And uh, heading down into the S's. Looks like three wide. Chris Mack drove it in there very deep. Oh, Stedman, Marlin, and Sterling. Father and son making contact there. Sends the 75 car into the wall. And that is what brings out our first caution of the day. So three wide here. Sterling, Marlin, and Chris Mack make a little bit of contact. Sterling gets into the David Strimmy. And then Stedman, Marlin, trying to get back onto the racetrack. Comes right, he comes to the right a little bit. Right into his father. And that sends him... Across the nose of the 14, right into the 75. Look at the 86 sideways, the 14 sideways. They both save it. Unfortunately for David Starr, he's not able to save it. He gets sent around into the guardrail. Debris falling off that race car. Yeah, that will bring out the caution. More contact in the S's there. These guys bouncing off each other. Checking each other up. Yeah, that's what... That's a... Uh, cause of our first caution here today. Let's jump right back into it here. It's a green flag flies once again. Now heading down into turn one. But we get a little bit of onboard here with Denny Hamlin. Let me turn the volume down a little bit so the cars aren't screaming over me. There we go. Riding with Denny Hamlin here on this restart, middle of the field. Just give you an idea of just how crazy things are watching from his back bumper into the bus stop here Truex not close enough to make a move Hamlin rolling through there nice and smooth look at that huge line of cars he has in front of him now as we ride with Jeff Gordon a driver who's seems to always be up front here at this racetrack so is uh, Jimmy Johnson seem to be pretty good at road racing Johnson now looking to make a move underneath Jeff Gordon entering the second to final turn Final left hand corner, unable to make it work. Coming out of the final turn, 
Heading down the front straightaway once again. Kyle Busch, Tony Stewart. Still 1-2 with Carl Edwards lurking in P3. And Stewart overdrives into turn one. Has to take a wider line. That's going to cost him a little bit of ground there. As he tried to make a move on Kyle Busch. Looks like he might have wheel hopped a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Sorry for dropping frames a little bit right there. One car on pit road is the 79 of Billy Bigley having some issues unfortunately. And uh, yeah, looking through the rest of the pack. These guys all seem to be making it through. Oh my goodness, I don't know why my frame rate is just terrible right now. But uh, it's kind of too late for me to do anything to fix it. Kyle Busch still out in front. Here comes Tony Stewart. We are five laps, about to be five laps in. And already things getting crazy here. Things getting nice and racy from Watkins Glen. Stewart trying to take a wider entry into the corner now into the final turn getting a bit of a flyby here out of the final corner comes Kyle Busch down into turn one once again Stewart is he close enough to make a move no just being patient here this time into turn one doesn't want to try and force anything make any mistakes about Brian Vickers with a run through the S's here. All over the back bumper of Elliott Sattler. He's going to dive down to the inside of Sattler here. Now Sattler. Oh boy. Side by side through the bus stop. Vickers through the grass. Backs out of it. And that's going to stack all these guys up. Here comes Kurt Busch trying to take advantage. He goes underneath the 7 of Robbie Gordon. Side by side. Not able to make it work on the exit of the carousel there. Side by side again. Mark Martin and Jeff Burton side by side here. Burton going to pinch that six car down. Martin, can he stay alongside the 31? Can he try and fight back? No, he cannot. Here comes Denny Hamlin sneaking to his inside. Side by side again down the front straightaway. Martin trying to defend. Can he hang on? Looks like he might have a bumper. Hamlin thought about driving it in deep. Doesn't. Hops in behind the six. The nine of Casey Kane looking to the inside of... Kevin Harvick, lots of moves being made. Every time somebody pulls out, another car pulls back in the line and vice versa. Through the S's, here comes teammates. Matt Kenseth with a run on his teammate Carl Edwards here. Can Kenseth do anything? We'll find out in just a, just a moment. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Oh, man. Welcome back. Caution is out. Literally the second we went to break, the caution came out. And let's see what it's for. Oh my goodness. We got chaos in the exit of the bus stop. That's what brings out our second yellow flag of the day. What happened here? Oh wow. 88. Slow off the pace. Heavy damage. Not sure where he got all that damage from. Looks like he might have has some sort of issue under caution but slow through the bus stop Chris Mack curb hops he's out of control he hops over the curb gets into the back of the 88 he's able to save his car but that sends Dale Jarrett around nowhere for the zero to go or the 10 Scott Riggs Mike Bliss caught up in it and uh, a couple other cars here wow Man, things get crazy here from Watkins Glen, don't they? Tony Stewart is your leader. As we came come back from break, he was able to get by Kyle Busch. Green flag back in the air. Stewart, your leader. Busch in second. Always seems to get the better restarts. He's right on the tail end of Tony Stewart here, heading into turn one. Further back, Martin sideways. Heading into the S's here. What a great view. Oh, 
Harvick just gets in line behind a one of Truex there entering the bus stop and files in gonna try and set him up make another move here here comes Jamie McMurray all over the back bumper to 25 of Brian Vickers and we got another caution I believe we do and it's Chris Mack this time bringing it out what happened here oh man that 86 car gets in way too deep through the grass look out sideways Trying to hang on to it, trying to hang on to it. Oh, just got into the tires. And he got on the gas trying to get the thing out of harm's way. And didn't want to stop in the middle of the racetrack and possibly get hit. So he stomps on the gas pedal, tries to loop it around and keep it off the tires. And man, that thing just back then damage might not be as bad as it looks let's see here and uh yeah i'm not sure what's going on here i believe we did go green but the yellow flag is back out contact between bigley and sterling marlin brings this one out back in the air here comes Kyle Busch throwing a big block on Carl Edwards he's gonna get to the inside of Tony Stewart heading into turn one Edwards right there behind Bush and Stewart as they battle for the lead and around goes Jamie McMurray in front of the field look out are they gonna be able to avoid him yes they will but I do believe that might have brought out the caution look at the absolute chaos as we head through the S's here Yep, yellow is out. Might have been a little they might have been a little trigger happy with that caution. But uh yeah, definitely can't blame them for being a little worried there. That 26 car creating that huge cloud of smoke right in front of most of the field. And now the battle for the lead continues. Kyle Bush and Tony Stewart going at it. Oh look at this. Further back, Jeff Burton. Pulling out of line. He gets to the inside of Jimmy Johnson. Can he make the pass? It looks like he's just about cleared him there. But Johnson still has the inside. Can he fight back in turn 10? Final corner. Or turn 8. Excuse me. <clears throat> Burton edges out Johnson at the stripe. Green flag back in the air. about Carl Edwards working his way up to second place and Kenseth tried to sneak by for third but unable to complete the pass quite yet still got a chance here and here comes Dale Jr. he's gonna try and push him past that five car heading into the bus stop here side by side Bush trying to defend Kenseth through the grass has to back off here comes Jeff Gordon to the outside of that eight did I just hear tire squealing? No, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Look at how stacked up we all are here. One car just dove on a pit road there towards the rear of the field, heading, in a, heading down into turn one. Big downhill braking zone into turn one. Hamlin gets to the inside of Mark Martin. They're going to be side by side through the S's. Martin has to back off. Really only a one groove portion of the track there in the S's. So. Martin backs off and loses his momentum. Here comes the 25 of Brian Vickers. He's going to try and close the gap. And look at this. The 07 Clint Boyer next to the 7 of Robbie Gordon. Into the bus stop. Boyer drives it in deep. 
Can he make it stick? He's going to go through the grass, but he clears Robbie Gordon. He's driver's not afraid to go off the track and go into the grass a little bit. Up front, though, it's all Tony Stewart. We're going to be right back after this. Welcome back to Watkins Glen International. Tony Stewart putting the whooping on the field. But the battle for second still rages on. Carl Edwards trying to defend. Can he hang on to P2 here? He's got Kyle Busch all over his back bumper. Busch backs off entering the S's. Going to try and get a better run on the exit. But here's Matt Kenseth right behind him as well. So he's going to have to keep that in mind too. Any move he makes might cause him to lose enough momentum to end up losing a spot rather than gaining one. The rest of the field though seem, seems to kind of be spread out a little bit as Harvick makes a move underneath the two of Kurt Busch into the bus stop. Will he be able to hang, hang on? No. Backs out of it. Gonna try and keep his nose in there through the carousel. Almost did, just a little bit, but not quite able to. <clears throat> so big gap in the field there, but just a couple of laps left here. About three to go. Tony Stewart in the driver's seat of this one. Further back, three wide in a turn one. Chris Mack not going to be able to make it work. He goes around, keeps it rolling, but caution does come out, and that will extend this race as we're coming around to two to go right now. So we will have an overtime finish. Green flag back in the air. We're double file. This is going to get crazy. Not sure why single car spins result in a caution, but that's NR for you sometimes. Double file into the S's. Once again, Kyle Busch, Carl Edwards trying to just give each other some space. They're going to file out behind, and Stewart running away on this restart. Look at how crazy and chaotic it is further back. Truex in the middle of that. He's going to try and make a move on Brian Vickers here. Side by side through the bus stop. Oh, and Burton runs wide. He gets up off into the grass. Further back, there are cars everywhere here. But man, looks like we're going to make it through. <clears throat> into the final sets of corners here. Tony Stewart. Out of turn eight. You'll see the white flag this time. One more lap to go for Tony Stewart. Further back, the battle between Harvick and Kurt Busch still rages on. And we're going to have contact. The round goes Mark Martin. Off the bumper of Brian Vickers. Chris Mack sideways. He's going to go way low to avoid him. We're surviving here from Watkins Glen. Meanwhile, up front, it's all Tony Stewart. The battle for second continues. Kyle Busch all over the back bumper of the 99 of Carl Edwards trying to hang on. Is that 99? And Kyle Busch trying to take that spot back from Edwards. Heading down into the final couple of turns here for the final time contact further back terrible crash up and over as Chris Mack gets collected by another car and the red flag is out immediately caution is out race is over Tony Stewart is gonna win from Watkins Glen and cars slowing down already here 
that was a bad wreck. They want to get safety crews out to these drivers immediately. Look at Mark Martin. Big time damage on that number six car. Red flag in the air on the final lap. Never what you want to see. And Mark Martin got spun by the 25 of Vickers that shuffled him back there and all that mess. What happened here? Out of the carousel, David Starr, Chris Mack side by side. Starr not having it. It's the 86. Looks like Chris Mack might have. They made a. May have made a little bit of contact. The 86 car gets a little loose. Slides up. David Starr not having it. Comes back and just clips the 86. Bang! Hard into that wall. They both go a weird angle. The 86 rolls over. Bang! Gets sideswiped by the 43. The Fabi Labani. Did I say John Andretti? <laughs> Shows you just how panic inducing that wreck was I said John Andretti and not Bobby Labonte but there goes Mark Martin as well spinning sliding into another opening and that is just a weird angle for that wall to be at there's nothing they can really do to fix it either because that's that's where it splits it's like a fork in a road here you see there's another path to the other layout of this road course so oh that's just a weird weird angle they might have to put in some temporary walls. That 86 car upside down. A wild ride for Chris Mack. Not an unfamiliar sight or feeling for him being up on his roof like that. But definitely scary nonetheless. And he is okay. He climbs out. So does Bobby Labonte. Thank goodness these guys are alright. Because that was a violent wreck on the final lap here at Watkins Glen. But it's all Tony Stewart as he wins from the Glen. So that's going to do it. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. Hope to see y'all next time. And until then, peace.